mobility training tip, maybe called a vlog since I'm here in New York, competing the Pan American Championships Sunday. And I'm just taking some of this fresh air. We've got some nice breeze off the river here. It's the East River, I believe. I was in the park, I just loosened my body from my flight last night. Got in late, about midnight, one-ish before I went to bed and ate. And so it's just kind of freeing the body up today. I don't go until Sunday. And big theme in my training is the squat position. Especially with my low back the way it is, the little pinch nerve. Hips get really tight and my breathing gets labored. I'm a chest breather because my organs and all that tighten up. So I'm really working on being down here. Big low belly breaths. And another big thing for my jiu-jitsu players out there, especially like Sunday, it's a big thing for me to be able to shoot low and get low on legs, single legs, ankle picks. It's gonna be a big part of my game. Competition is all about being able to wrestle at this stage of the game. You know, wrestling is gonna be the huge thing for me. And so I've been doing a squat flow where I'm in the squat, I'm breathing, getting myself grounded in this position. Working this low squat position. Work on breathing here first. Pushing the breath out through here, where I feel it in the adductors, pushing the hips out, trying to lower the ankles and get that angle as much as I can. I'm doing this flow where I'll drive a knee over, maybe twice, and then drive it over this side twice. Keep my head up, I don't want to be falling forward too much. Because it's like, you know, where I'm diving in for a takedown. We're there, and then I'm bringing my hands back, come to like a pistol squat, where I'm holding myself here. And from there, I'm working myself in this bridge rotation. I'm squeezing my glutes, really anchoring that shoulder down. Get a nice glute squeeze here. And I come back through. Pistol, come back. And then I like even tying in this movement. This is a lot of Ido Portales squat stuff. Internal rotation of the hip, side to side. Back around the other way, pistol. We're really focusing on the ankle dorsiflexion. That's our limiting factor in the squat, is that angle that we can make there. And then moving this bridge rotation, really squeezing those glutes, getting this hip extension, getting this big opening through the lat. We're coming back through. And then when we come back here, we can work on opening. The squat's a free movement. It shouldn't be, a, it shouldn't be something you think is sets and reps. And you can work on this open to the sky. And I like doing that flow because it deepens my squat as I do it. So I'm doing that. And just see, tie that in before training, after training. It's supplemental, it's functional. This is not something you just do once a week and you leave it. Do it as much as you can. Feel how it frees you up, opens up the psoas, opens up your diaphragm, you breathe better. You will feel better on the mats, you'll feel better on the court, whatever sport, whatever you play. Being in a fundamental squat position like babies do, it's a fundamental movement pattern that we should all be able to do. Apply it to your training, let me know how it goes. Connect with me below, show some love. Got a free book down there, some good stuff for you. Looking forward to more stuff to help you. Thank you guys.